on your side has been all over this story since it broke. At 5 o'clock, we spoke to the son of the driver who was trapped in the truck as it hung over the water. And now we have new information on the delicate process it took to lift that massive truck away from danger. 10 on your side, Ann McNamara joins us live with details on that tricky process. Ann? Hi guys, we're on the Suffolk side of the M&M where traffic is now moving and you saw how difficult it was to get that female driver free. Well, that was only the beginning. Take a look at some of this video of how they had to get the truck back over that wall. It was a very, very slow process. First, they had two cranes, one on either side, so that's why both directions, both northbound and southbound lanes, had to be closed. They used those cranes at first, one to lower down a bucket with two workmen in it. They were able to hook up chains and then that attached to the second crane, which was able to start pulling the truck in a vertical direction. That was only the beginning. They then had to go and hook the second crane also up to the truck because it was so heavy and we're only talking about the cab. They then used a tow truck on that same side to pull horizontally. So we're talking about both vertical and horizontal pulling and as they did, you can see in the video, bits and pieces of the truck debris would fall into the water. They were trying to avoid that if possible, and they did a pretty good job for the most part. A l large amount of the majority, I would say, of the cab was completely up and back over the edge. This process, though, took about four hours from the beginning of the accident till finally they had that truck back over, and then it took about another hour to get those lanes clear. Live in Suffolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.